Hello, Matty coming at you with another Planet Coaster Park Spotlight. Thank you for joining me and welcome to the video. And today I'm extremely happy to have a special guest with me. I've got Tommy CM, who a lot of you may be also familiar with from his YouTube series as well. Tommy, do you want to say hello? Hello, hello. Thanks for having me. No problem at all. So um, I should give a quick heads up. This is not Tommy P. This is Tommy CM. They are two completely different people. I did not spend <laughs> a week thinking that they were the same people until I got corrected. <laughs> one is from Nottingham and one is from Leeds, two very different places. <laughs> but uh, no, Tommy CM is a extremely talented YouTuber. He also does Park Spotlights and he's got a couple of different series up on his channel at the moment. So I highly recommend going and checking out his channel channel at Tommy CM. But Tommy, we've got this Harry Potter park to view today on the PS5. Quite a mammoth project. Uh, this is going to take us a while, I think. What do you think yeah, from just having I, a look? Uh, I mean, from the outset there, you can, you can see straight away that, you know, the different areas. I'm, I'm really excited about the Quidditch pitch at the background. I think, to, I, I mean, people, you know, if, the, if you were going to do a Harry Potter themed area, Hogwarts is the go-to kind of build, but I don't think many people would have thought of doing a Quidditch pitch, so I'm excited for that. And uh, Diagon Alley as well at the front, which I've uh, seen a glimpse of, is definitely uh, something I'm looking forward to. Yeah, I mean, this is 100% on the PS5, and their frame rate, even on, on my PS5, is struggling with this. It is really gone whole hog at this. Hey, whole hog, Hogsmeade, Harry Potter pun for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, are, are you actually a Harry Potter fan, Tommy? I, I am, yeah. I've uh, I've, I've been to. Uh, I, I mean, I've obviously I've watched all the films. Uh, I don't. I've not read all the books, so don't don't shoot me down, die-hard Harry Potter fans. Um, but I, I've been to uh, I've been to Universal Studios in Florida a couple of times and been to the oh, Harry wow. Potter world there. Um, which uh, I think the the Diagon Alley here is is vaguely based upon. Looking at the overview of it, um, so uh, yeah, really uh, really excited to see how how lifelike it is compared to uh, yeah, the real life version. Yeah, I mean, I, I I love Harry Potter. I've again seen all the films. I have actually read all the books um, multiple times. Um, kind of grew up well, with you, Harry you... Potter. So um, yeah. Um, I mean, as as much as I love Harry Potter, kind of like I have. There was always one thing that bugged me about Harry Potter, though. It's like there was one thing I always found a bit unrealistic. I mean, I can buy all the magic and I can buy like kind of the Wizarding School, but a ginger kid with two friends, I'm just not buying it. <laughs> I'm, hang on, before everyone shoots me down in the comments, I was a ginger kid, so I'm allowed to make that joke. I was ginger growing up, so I'm exempt. I'm allowed to make the, that the, joke. The, 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 this is the point where I tell you that I'm ginger, isn't it? Well, see, there I'm, you I'm go. Not, I'm not really. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really. Don't, don't, don't worry. <laughs> no, I am, so that's why I'm exempt from making that joke. So, oh, right, right let's, let's get into this park, shall we? Let's uh, stop waffling. So we've got... King's Cross Station here with the night bus outside. I, I love that night bus. That is ace. Yeah, that. Is it? Is is he used a car? You know the you know the engine at the front. Is that is that a, a car piece? So he's yeah. used two. From what I can see, he's used two cars. So he's used like kind of uh, one of the vintage cars, like the lay down. So you can actually see it just yes. through there. And then he's used another yeah, yeah. car yeah. and turned it sideways for that bit. And then just all the rest, just in basic shapes. I mean. I would yeah, even if I, I was doing yeah, I do Harry Potter, I'd never think of doing a night bus. <laughs> I just it's just not no. something I would think about. Um No. And that's no, just no, fantastic. Re really good really good piece. Hang on, she's she's belting it, she is. Voldemort's oh, that, chasing that, her. That's one it? of the thieves, isn't it? That's, the that's what it must be. After. Right, so let's <laughs> go, go through this entrance. Um so we've got all the station here, you've got all the luggage on the right. Um, and then over here, I mean, just all this detailing, just these little references all the way through, and then you've, you've got you've the got wall. the tr you've got the trolley on the left here, going going into platform nine and three quarters. See, I didn't even pick wall. up on that. That's something I didn't even pick up on. <laughs> See, this is why there's two of us because we need to just to pick up on all the references. Yeah, so like, kind of, you've got to assume that there's a wizard on the other side. Is there? Out of curiosity, is there somebody on the other side now? That would have been a cool little Easter egg right. if you put somebody yeah. on the other side of that, um, just yeah. as a reference. <laughs> and then you've got the wall that's on the back of the pub that's hidden in London that Hagrid taps the bricks and then that opens up into Diagon Alley. Not Diagon Alley, because that's, uh, 
that's no. what Harry says, and then he ends up in the wrong place. But just look at this. I mean, this is insane. What do yeah, you think, the, Tommy? The, the, the colours. I, I love. I love how. Um, I love how sort of wonky some of the designs are, especially the uh, especially the red building on the left. It, like the 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 building, like they're they're not just sort of straight head on buildings. If you look at the upper windows, how how it's like leaning out. Because that that must be so hard to to do rather than just using the auto stack tool. But the yeah the different colours and all the signs as well I think look uh, look spot on. It's just the amazing, isn't that. it? I mean the amount of times he must have had to separate um, building pieces. So like kind of I assume he's built these buildings and then had to kind of like systematically go through and remove uh, like detach uh, pieces from the building, split them away just to like kind of then adjust them. It must have taken him hours. I mean, just to do yeah. like each building alone, uh, the time yeah. and dedication that's in this is is insane. There, and, there's people down there going into the buildings as well, so there's clearly something. In, it will. They, they just went into the green one anyway. So um, I, think I, I think some of these buildings are are open. As it's just a shop. Yeah. In that one, um, I know there's certainly one building that you can actually go into, and it's all like kind of decorated inside. But I'll we'll get to that in a second. But I'm just trying to like pick up on all these uh, references. So we've got um, F- Florent. F- I, I, I don't know how to say that. F- Florent for Florian. <laughs> yeah, the ice cream palette. I do yeah. recognise the reference. So <laughs> that that is actually in Harry Potter. Um, I do recognise. The name, and I assume like a lot of these are actually proper references as well. It's just, it's just absolutely incredible. I'm just, I'm blown yeah. away. If honest, I, I don't know what more I can say because it's just so good. Yeah, no, he is. I, I mean, he's either he either has been to the, as I say, the the one in Universal Studios because this is exactly what it looks like. And you walk down, and you've got Gringotts in front with the dragon on the roof, and it. This is exactly, you know, exactly the the same walk you do. So he's either taking the pictures from it, or he's, you know, or he's always been there himself because it, it does look identical to it. And then we've so got Olifanders, the yeah, well. Olifanders, and all insiders done as well. <laughs> I love this. I mean, he stacks so many, so many different books in. Here I mean, well. that's, that's insane, <laughs> isn't it? And again, it looks magical, like kind of how all the shelves are like, kind of all crooked and like kind of falling over and everything. And it just yeah. doesn't look. It looks chaotic, which is good because that's how it does look in Harry Potter. Nothing looks normal, like kind of things being held yeah. up like almost by magic. It's like. By no right should these shelves actually be up there straight. Um, they'd be falling no. off all over the place. It's just absolutely yeah, no, amazing. It, he's, he's built the, he's built the upper floor really nicely as well. The, I mean, obviously, no one's actually going to come up here, but the, the way he's built it looks really nice. I, I assume there's nothing on the other side. I, there's that many Easter eggs and references. I just want to actually make sure because there's yeah. like kind of crevices and things everywhere. Um, <laughs> I mean, there's even a. Trap I tell you what. Here. I tell you what would have been good, and I, I, I feel awful saying how how he could maybe improve it because it is fantastic. Is you know if he had you know if he put in one of the floating books from the spooky pack, just to have one one of them floating out, I yeah, think would have would have looked good. But but um, but I, I suppose in Ollivanders that they're all supposed to be like wand yeah. pieces, aren't they, as opposed to actual books? So. Um, but yeah, no, it's, uh, it's it's ridiculous level of detail. Oh, we've got staff, elves. Uh, is there a shop in this one as well? Um, yeah, there's a little yep. uh, a sweet Come thing there. Thing. There's a toilets in there. So just um, how you've got all people like kind of walking in and out the buildings and everything as well. Is that um? Oh, what's Ron's that called? Scabbers. Is that yes. supposed to be Scabbers yeah. or oh, Peter Pettigrew? <laughs> yeah, you know, Harry Potter it's knowledge coming that. out now. <laughs> right. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not sure which way to go now. I'm assuming we need to go Gringotts. I'm going to have to do um, what Tommy did in, in my park review and keep zooming out because there's just so many things you can miss and I don't want to miss anything. Um, a little part of me thinks that we need to go left here and then come back on ourselves afterwards because I'm pretty sure that if you go yeah. on the ride here, then the ride then takes you out to the platform and then that would then take you to um, Hogwarts. 
So I think we yeah, need to kind yeah, of go, go left. Left, right, camera work. Oh my. See, now if Tommy was in control of the camera, it would be so much more professional than this. <laughs> I mean, people can watch this and be like, Matty's doing the camera. We can see that much. <laughs> so, so we've got more shops down here. Um, and just all the framework in here as well. All this is manually done, isn't it? It's... Yeah, yeah. You can't, you can't just, um, yeah. Th those beams you have to place in and line up yourself. I don't, I don't, they, they don't auto stack, do they? Those. No, beams? they don't. I think I've tried putting some in. They... I mean, anyone who's watching this, yeah. like, kind of, is obviously already impressed. You've got to think. Uh, you've got to stop and think. You would have had to have placed each, every single one of these beams individually. Um, I mean, the dedication, um, but what is effectively just a tiny little walkthrough as well. The guests are just going to come straight through and walk through this, not even really stop yeah. and look. <laughs> and the dedication and time that he's put into this is just absolutely incredible. Um, I can't quite believe it. But um, So we've got a queue line yeah. here. Again, yeah, I, I, I always I always love when people hide those. I hate the cylinders. You get the little silver gate things. I, I always like people. Yeah, I, I wish there's a way you could like if there was like different styles and you could change them or something, but you can't. So I always like it when people hide them what in I, some way. What is this Q4? Um, no, no. I'm trying to find what the ride is called. Hang on, we'll, we'll go through. Um, I'll hide the menu again in a second. So let's go. Just hop over there. Ooh. Watch your bums on them sharp spikes. And then we come down here. So nice Q line. Very nice Q line. One here we go. Got Hagrid's hut over here. Uh, let's oh, just. Wow. You, got, you got the spiders on it. Oh, just... Follow the spiders. Yeah. Why can't it be follow the butterflies? <laughs> That was a beautiful Ron Weasley impression. That was that was fantastic. <laughs> I I can do a couple of Harry Potter impressions, but I'm going to hold out on them. I can do quite a good Dobby impression. <laughs> um, I'm quite proud of my Dobby impression. Dobby and um, um, Gollum from Harry Potter. But if you look inside here, he's even done all inside. Wow! wow. He, he, again, he, he really didn't need to do this because people. But it, but the fact he has done it just makes it. Even that more impressive? There is no way that... the Hagrid is going to fit. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> I was about to say, I don't think that's big enough for him. His feet are going to be dangling <laughs> over the edge. <laughs> but still a really nice touch. That's custom made as yeah. well. That's a custom made bed. Beds yeah, yeah. don't exist in the game. So, um, no. brilliantly done. Really nice attention to detail. And let's uh, come out of here. I mean, just absolutely top work. And I do realise, Tommy, we haven't actually said whose park this is. This is Silver Punkers. So I do apologise, Silver Punker, um, that we didn't actually even say whose park this was. So Silver Punker, um, this park is on the PlayStation Workshop, but it is a PS5 park. So to download this, you will have to own a PS5. But I highly do recommend doing so. Um, showing your support for Silver Punker, favourite it, thumbs up it, everything you can to show support because this is uh, this is the type of park you see on Channel 5 Gaming, um, I would honestly say, because I can see Johnny walking through here, um, giving his feedback, it's that good. And just beautiful station as well, simple but effective. My terms that I keep always going yeah. back to. Yeah, no, it, it it really matches the whole the whole area, especially with like the the sort of half collapsed walls and stuff. Yeah, it it just blends in, and then and then he's just added like bits of bits of ivy like randomly along the roof and walls and stuff, which kind of help it blend in. It's just brilliant. And then isn't that, it? the the little pattern on the on the end wall as well. That like, there. You know, it just yeah, yeah 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 that bit. And the trimming and that looks yeah. really nice as well. The trimming all the way around's really nice. I mean, what actually is is this yeah. um, multiple columns he's used? Yeah, so it's a column. Uh, so he's used multiple. Oh, right. Okay, so he's actually used multiple columns and then just kind of like just stepped them up, um, around there to create that. Oh effect. yeah yeah. So that's very nice done. So that's like seventeen pieces. Yeah. Just for like kind of the one end alone. And what actually is this? <laughs> oh, so so the fire house, firehouse fence is used for that. So oh, you you wouldn't you wouldn't spot that as a fence, would you? From, no, from that. No, using... not at all, wow. not at all. And then what's this? Uh, 
right cool so hagrid adventure so for anyone who is interested in stats so we've got green across the board um i don't care about stats personally i think so long as it looks good it doesn't matter and what else have we got so we've got average speed of 36 max speed of 62 so it's a fast coaster max vertical g of six which isn't too bad um again i don't really care about any of this kind of stuff for so long as it looks I, good i <clears throat> i don't know this could be a recreation of hagrid's motorbike adventure it, again in florida um i've not been on it uh I, I, I went just about a couple of weeks before it was actually opening um so uh, yeah i've not actually been on it but i know there's a ride over there that you basically the um one of you sits in a motorbike and the other one sits in a sidecar on each oh, road wow. and it's a, it's, it's a it's a similar it's a similar sort of coaster as in it's um it's just fast it doesn't have any inversions on um but it is a you know it is a fast coaster so i wonder if it's if it's like that oh maybe even if it is a recreation it's still still amazing though isn't it it's, oh yeah. I, yeah i just yeah. noticed that as well um ron weasley's flying car yeah. we're just missing <laughs> yeah. the whomping willow yeah. Uh, we just need yeah. the one thing willow that it crashed into. Oh, really nice that you've again just these little Easter eggs. I mean, if if you would send, if you were to zoom out here, and send that as a screen to shot to somebody and say, right, name the theme that I'm going for. I guess a lot of people would guess at Harry Potter, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, just, yeah, from yeah, yeah. just from that alone. Yeah. Just from that alone. Yeah. And. We've also got this um, bridge here as well as like that is quite reminiscent of Harry Potter as well. Um, the bridge that kind of like kind of goes over um, th that connects the Hogwarts to. Um, I think it's like kind of when they're going down towards Hagrid's hut, isn't it? If I remember rightly, I think you first start yes, seeing it in Prisoner so, yeah. of Azkaban. Yeah, I think. So right, let's uh, without further ado, let's go on a ride because we're sitting here waffling away and we've got to try and think of the. Uh, <laughs> How long this video I think is going the to be? Just coming back in. Oh, there you go. That was yeah. nice timing then. Um, what do you reckon, Tommy? Shall we go front, front point of view like this? I reckon yep. so. Right. Oh, yeah. So um, let's go for a point of view of this. Let's just speed it up quickly, just while everyone jumps on. Normally, I would edit this out, but with having Tommy, we maybe a bit less editing than normal. And here we go. Enjoy the point of view. <laughs> I mean, that was absolutely awesome. That was so so yeah. good. <laughs> no, I, I, lo I love I love the layout of that. The, the, the bends and the twists work really well. Yeah. And, uh, and that look, that that massive like top part at the start was really good as well. Really smooth as well. Um, yeah. As as I said in um, one of the previous park spotlights I did, I don't profess to be a coaster expert, so I don't really offer advice and feedback on when people should be kind of like kind of doing this and smoothing here because I I'm not very good at it myself. But from what I could see, I think that was absolutely amazing. It did. I don't think it needed smoothing or anything. It it looked perfect in my opinion. I, I don't know what you think, Tommy. I think you're a bit better on coasters than I am. Yeah, again, again, I'm no expert. I, I always find that the, the stat, the stats on the game don't necessarily show a, a realistic coaster. So you can always kind of just, you know, and you either build it for the guests or you build it for you. And but I think he's hit both, both on the head here because it's green stats and it's a really good coaster. The yeah. bit where it's just gone through there, where the, where the track kind of wiggles. Yeah. Um. That 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 was quite a, quite a nice touch because I th I think that is one of the thing one of the, one of the elements on the real one. But right. it, the, the whole thing isn't it, it's not it's not a recreation, but it's a similar style of coaster basically. Um. But uh, no, yeah, it's, it's, it it works really well around the rocks and stuff. Is is rock work there is really good and the terrain yeah i mean anyone who's seen anything of mine knows what i'm a big fan of terrain work rock work paint work water features that that's my forte that's my go-to it's my favorite things that i look for in parks that forget the fact that it's a coaster game i just like the scenery <laughs> and yeah this is some of the best i've ever seen i mean that is just 
second to none how how you've got like kind of the tips so you've like used multiple rocks and like kind of got them tipped up so like kind of they're jagged and spiked used rocks in ways that i haven't really seen done before in that manner um to create them kind of like i, I don't even know how you would explain it, almost like would you say like gullies or something like that um yeah yeah it He's, he's kind of gone for he's built lots of big rocks and going up to smaller ones and then yeah like like you say just kind of made them pointy and sharp which kind of blend in a lot better than if they were just a pile of rocks yeah yeah i mean i just kind of chuck rocks down to be honest <laughs> um i feel right hang on um, I don't want to miss anything. Let's just quickly zoom out. So we're going to go back that well, way. You got, you got some boats there. You got some boats there going across the Hogwarts. Yes, I was just coast, I was yeah. just about getting to them as well. And have you seen what I'm on them as well? <laughs> you got penguins on them. Are they, are they... <laughs> <laughs> so nice. um, so anybody who's a fan of the films or books will know that in the first film, um, they don't actually go. Um, Oh my days! I can't remember. Like on the ca- what are the carriages? What are the things that pull the carriages? Um, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. The ones that are invisible, unless you've seen somebody die. <laughs> oh Direct- yeah, they're like weird. I can't remember you know, what they're called. They're the ho- weird horse creatures, aren't they? Mm, I can't remember what they're called. But they um, they pull the carriages and they go on them from the second film onwards. But the the first years always go on the boats over. I think that's a really nice touch. I just noticed another another car there. I'd never even seen that. Before. And that's actually crashed into a tree. With yeah. A... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we'll get back to that later. Um, let's not get sidetracked. Um, let's just quickly just go over this bridge over here. Um, I don't want to go to the Quidditch pitch yet, but um, just over here. I mean, just little tiny touches down here. Just... I mean, like, kind of, and look where he's done, like, all the paint work and terrain work all around here as well. Like, none of that is all natural. That's all been touched up around there for, like, kind of something that's completely on the outskirts of the park. No, excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, nobody is ever going to see that. That's just insane. There's not, there's not even, like, a building there for people to look at. There's just, like, a few wall pieces. So yeah. to spend time just painting that area it just makes it look good, you know, when you're doing, like, an overview shot. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you've noticed as well, that takes. but have you seen as well, have you noticed the difference between, say, the trees here and the trees there? Because yeah. it's a bit more snowy here, he's like kind of filtered the trees, like so like kind of anywhere yeah, where yeah. Like, there's a bit more snowy, he's got the snow trees and then little tiny touches that you, you, you may not realise at first glance, but it makes it look more realistic and yeah, yeah just, definitely again just top work so right uh where is the queue exit for this and here we go so let's go down this path um i think you need to turn off rubbish because you've got guests chucking rubbish look at the state of this oh <laughs> i'm appalled that might that might be my doing actually that might be because of my settings that i've got on um actually so that might be my fault um, I think I've also got staff happiness on as well, so I might have staff quitting all over the place. Um, well, I don't know, we'll see. Right, so we come back through here again, so let's go through the exit. And let's come back down here, and then we've got Gringotts all, all Bank. Of the, all of this flooring, all of that flooring there is roof tiles. If you look at the feet, yes, it's all roof tiles that yeah. he's put down. It's, it's, so obviously there's a path underneath, but like, he spent time putting roof tiles because he's obviously not happy with any of the paths for that area which is i mean that, that must have taken ages again to place yeah. all those pieces down uh, that's that's nuts absolutely amazing <laughs> isn't it? let's just have a quick look up these stairs um i don't think there's anything up here but i still want to go and have a look so ah right so this is uh we're not really supposed to go up here i don't think so let's go back out oh that's what's that sign step inside to capture the magic Let's go and capture the magic, Tommy. <laughs> oh, more sweets. Popcorn. Oh, po- yep. <laughs> right, let's go inside Gringotts. Um, right, I'm not exactly sure. No, not that way. Right, we're not going to go that way. We'll come back out that way in a minute. So let's just go in this way. So we've got a ATM there. 
and then you've actually got Gringotts reception wow. um like kind of the hallway yeah. and like kind of look at how he's done all the floor as well all the floor is all custom as well yeah that that, that floor was ridiculous <laughs> and the, then you've got the, these like the kind of little pedestals spend on that as well that is just, yeah it's nuts these are where the goblins sit aren't they so when um yeah yeah when he walks in and they've got all the goblins that are sat there and then you walk down here and like Tommy said, the time that it must have taken to do all of this and then you've got the pedestal at the end where that kind of the top goblin sits and shows them through and I, I'm not sure which way we go, Tommy. Um, is, shall we go left? I don't know. Is, it, is, there, an, is there an attraction in here? Why, yeah, there's a ride. Why it's so busy. There's a ride in here. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's a dark ride inside. Hang on. Oh, right, right. So not that way. Yeah, there is a ride it's in here. here. Like, I'm just, I'm just right. trying to find it. So it must be this way. Yeah, yeah, it's got to be this way. Um, there we go. Yeah, but, yeah, there we are. Right, let's... Uh, oh, people are just challenging Matty now with this camera work. This is ridiculous. Let's put rides in the most <laughs> obscure places we can find and see if Matt can navigate the camera to get to it. I think I'm doing all right here. <laughs> Hang on. Don't famous yeah, last Yeah, you've, you've, you've not hit a wall yet. <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, down, 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 down we go, down we go. I, oh. Right, he's he's de he's definitely uh, recreating rides from from Universal Studios because this is exactly the uh, this is the this is the arm um, robotic arm ride that they have there as well. Right. Um, so yeah, you, but I mean, you know, this, it's a really really fun ride. They're really hard to use in this game, especially on console because you can't import videos and photos like you can on PC. Oh. Because a lot, a lot, a lot of the interaction with this ride is you normally put a screen there and you hold the arm like with the screen, right. and then it's showing a video and it kind of gives like a three D effect. Um, but on console, we can't import photos and videos, so no. it doesn't work normally as well. So uh, I'm intrigued to see how he's done this. Maybe a few too many cars because you've got uh, guests sat there. But if that is one of the only criticisms I can give, then it's a very small criticism. <laughs> Um, I'm 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 just trying to find things to criticise now because I can't find anything else because it's so good. But I've intentionally <laughs> paused it um, because we can jump on this just as it leaves. This one is the one that's about to leave, I think. Um, I'm not going to do stats because it's not no not that one. Um, It'll be one of the last ones, doesn't it? Hang on. Oh oh, here we go. <laughs> oh my days <laughs> alright camera there we go um, that's one that's just coming right yeah, so, so we've got it'd be one of the last yeah last I need cars. I need this one here really um, so right let's try and get because this one's just about to go so it's not train one um, I, ah there you go it's this one isn't it yeah, yeah that's the one yeah that's the one right so let's go so enjoy the point of view of this
Wow. <laughs> I, I dread to think how long he spent down making those caves because they, they just seem to go on and on forever down here. That was. I mean, I, just... I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to ask you to fly the camera through here because I don't want you to get stuck again. <laughs> but, but the the oh, level of little faith. like detail down, <laughs> the level of detail down here is just insane, and the the little effects like that were were quite yeah. good really good effects um you had like kind of some of the vaults as well i think you had a bellatrix bellatrix lestrange's vault and now i think i've noticed yes. um that they have to go and get like just these little effects like this it's really i mean so you've got a ghostbuster over there that, but yeah, it makes it look like that, he's that's, shooting it that's clever I, I i did i did wonder how he was doing that at first but oh that that's it, I, I've got to appreciate anything where, you, where people are thinking outside the box as to how to use scenery pieces like that. You know, to to think, oh, how can I get a wand effect? Oh, I'll use the Ghostbusters guy. You know, that that takes some creativity to yeah. to think for that. <clears throat> and you've got somebody running towards the treasure there. Just all these little nods and these little references and little Easter eggs. I mean, and the lighting in this whole cave system as well is incredible as well. Um, it's so atmospheric. Yeah. Um, I mean, again, like what Tommy said, like the amount of detail and how long it would have taken to do this is just insane. Um, yeah, it, it, like I say, it, it would it would have been nice if if the if console allows us allows us to put like videos in because you could put like you know a clip of like Harry and Ron and Hermione or something like flying on flying on a broom or or whatever and and have the arm like interact with the screen um because i think if you there's a blueprint of that robotic arm ride um from planet coaster and the, there is a screen on it but the screen just shows the planet coaster logo so it's one of those things that it would be a really nice effect but unfortunately you can't use it so to be able to make one of those rides without that is is very impressive very impressive i'm kind of thinking we're we gonna have to start trying to crack on with this because we're already 32 minutes in already and we yeah. haven't even got to we haven't even got to hogwarts yet so um i'm no. just going to quickly zoom out um just to show where this is in reference to uh for anyone that was wondering so um oh so yeah, we've got all, so we've got all that there so, right okay we can go over that way in a second right okay right so the ride of the exit is going to bring you over here and then we've got all this uh station here and with the hogwarts express really nicely done it's not an actual working train so you've just used the scenery pieces to create it so it's just a stationary train but really nicely done so this is um hogsmeade uh is it hogsmeade where the station where the train drops yeah. them off to, yeah, isn't it is, it? yeah 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 and then that yeah. actually also yeah, brings really, you really into nice another thing. ride as well I'm, I'm having to start whizzing over some of this a bit quicker than i would like to now because i'm a bit conscious of how long this video is going to be just because of how much there is to see i mean we haven't even done hogswarts and and the quidditch pitch yet so so we've come down here are you impressed with the camera work by the way I, did you did you see me navigate that ride before I I, I tell you what, I was very impressed with how you navigated that tunnel yeah <laughs> <It> was, <laughs> i thought what, it was going to fail wasn't wasn't the easiest place <laughs> Right, so we've got another ride here. Uh, let's go down this queue. So we've got another one of these really nice custom um, bridges again. He yeah, uses the, beams. The, the size. Of, Sorry, yeah, go on. The size of that bridge. Yeah. I was going to say how, how, how big it is. You know, to for him to spend all that time building. You know, he's not just built the box around the path. It, the the whole structure of it is uh, is impressive. I mean, uh, he he loves his beams. I'll give him that much, yeah. and I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone use beams to, to such good effect. Like, kind of, they're just everywhere. I mean, like, kind of, you look like kind of over there as well. You've got the beams over here as well. Again, same as that building that me and Tommy were saying over the other side. He's had to place every single beam manually. <laughs> just, yeah. Just take a second and wonder how long that would have taken him. It's, just yeah, wow. Because because even you know even even if you copy even if you use the copy tool, sometimes things can go slightly out of line. So you have still got to go back and adjust them to make them make them fit in right. So yeah, to you know to to spend that much time making this and you know, but it, but it's one of those things that the more time he's put into it, the better it looks. Yeah. So. Dragon Quest. So mm. here we go. 
let's have a quick look at this. Uh, what have we got stats wise? So green across the board again. So very good. I'm just going to quickly pause it before that train jumps out the station. Uh, so green across the board. <laughs> um, max speed of 67 again. Um, seven G force. It's another launch coaster, I think. Yeah. I, I don't care about that G that G force. Who cares? It's high, but don't matter. Airtime yeah. count four. So like, let's go for oh. So I do the I do that great big cave fine, and then I come into this building, and then I'm like whoa all over the place. <laughs> I feel like I'm on a broomstick. Right, let's go for a ride on this. Enjoy the point of view. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow. I'll be honest, I didn't even know all that underground bit was there. Um, no, no. I, I mean, you can see parts of the layout above, and I wasn't sure how long the ride was going to be, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I can't even see where it goes underground from, um, from here. <laughs> is it there? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, I'd, this is one of the rides I hadn't taken a point of view ride of before doing this tour. Um my camera um so i had no idea any of this was here um silver punker i would absolutely love to see you do a lord of the rings park because i don't know if you're a fan of lord of the rings i'm kind of secretly hoping that you are because i think you would absolutely nail it um and if that would be something that you're interested in I think you could possibly recreate one of the best Lord of the Rings theme parks I've seen in the game. I mean, this is the best Harry Potter theme park I've seen in the game, so... <sighs> oh, yeah, but, yeah by, by far. I mean, I, I can't believe how much he's, how much time and, and how many bits of scenery he's placed underground. Because yeah. it's, not, it's not the easiest to work underground on this game. The, you, can, you can turn one of the settings off so you can just like, like float through walls and stuff, so it does make it easier, but... Um, it's it's still it, it's very difficult to work. work I mean, my camera proves that. that. <laughs> my camera yeah. work is proving just how difficult it is to build underground. I can't even look around <laughs> under there, let alone build under there. Uh, <laughs> Silver, just just absolutely incredible work, mate. Absolutely incredible. Um, I don't think me and Tommy can say much more praise, really. No. To be honest, right oh, here we go. Oh, that, that's a, that's a that's a custom rope bridge. It is, yeah. <laughs> just just because why not? It's like because you hadn't put enough details around already. Let's just do a custom yeah. rope bridge as well. Steve Moore. So yeah. let's go up here. How, how long are we in? Thirty-eight minutes. I need to try and keep this video under an hour if we can. So let's have a quick whiz around here. So now we're actually getting into Hogsmeade itself. Um, so Hogs. Hogsmeade? Yeah, Hogsmeade is the town yeah. village on the outskirts of Hogwarts, isn't it? So this must yeah. be the ride that we just went on, is it? Yes. I'm, yes, I'm just, it is, yeah. I'm just mindful of missing anything. So let's, if we just quickly go down here, so this would go back to where we were before, so on the uh, back end of uh, Gringotts. So just in where we are in relation to the rest of it. So we've got Hogsmeade here, so... Again, really nice cost. All this custom building, again. 
and the same as um, diagonally, like kind of just the different shaping and um, nothing is straight at all. You've got all different angles going on all over the place. Just really nice work. What yeah, I mean, try, to... try to work, try to work, try to work paths where buildings aren't on facing them like straight, you know, straight on. Oh, he's very difficult. So I don't know whether he's placed the paths down first and then worked his buildings around it or what. But it's yeah, it's is impressive. See, I've never noticed this and last time. No. Yeah. Sorry, I, I interrupted you then. Sorry, mid flow. What were you saying? No, Sorry. no, 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 no. Like, like I say, I was, I was just saying the um, just you know, putting buildings at an angle. It's always hard to because the, the paths on this game can be a little bit annoying at times. So to the way he's got it to work, and he's got things. He's got shops and stuff inside of buildings to get people to go in as well. Um, so uh, yeah, that's always you know always makes it look more realistic. He's got the hog's head. I didn't even realise this was here. I never saw this before. I came <laughs> to it quickly before. So he's got the hog's head, which is the pub um, that Hagrid always comes to. Very nice. And can you go in this one? No. Just right. And then we get into the snowy bit of... Oh, Hogs, Hogsmeade? Was I saying Hogsmeade before? What was I saying yeah, before? I've, I've yeah. kind of conscious now that I was saying the wrong thing. Self-professed Harry Potter fan getting it wrong. <laughs> so you've got this the... Is, this is definitely a recreation of uh, of Florida. And I'll keep mentioning it, but this is exactly the uh, exactly the layout. And you have a member of... You have a um, train conductor at the front of the train... Um, in uh, in Florida as well that oh, you can go and have a photo with, so it, yes, yeah, it's, it, it's a full on full on remake. But the thing is, I mean, if with with any like film park or or any recreation, people like it because they can reference it and they know what you're trying to do, rather than building a, a completely new theme. So uh, yeah, trying to do that is 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 impressive to get that right. I mean, and like you said, uh, recreation or not, you've still got to put the effort in to do this. It, I mean, um, yeah. uh, uh, don't like kind of take what Tommy is saying, like kind of, oh, well, it's, it's, it's a recreation. I don't like want anyone to think that's taken away from it because that is not Tommy's intention at all because you've still got to put oh, all no, this effort no. in as well. Recreation yeah. or not, this is still incredible. You can, I, I mean, I could look at all this and I couldn't do this. Recreation or not, even if I've got all the photos, I still wouldn't be able to do all this. Um, seeing it and wanting to do it and then actually pulling it off are two very different things. Um, yeah. Nailed it. Just, oh, I'm, I'm, I, feel like an, I feel like a child here. I'm like proper like, eee, Harry Potter. <laughs> I'm, loving, I'm loving this. I'm really enjoying this park tour. I, I love Harry Potter so much. So he's... <laughs> <laughs> right. just, just every every building is is just different like the the pillars there look that are yeah. leaning slightly and, you know the, the tiny thought process behind that rather than just going you know whack 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 with it with different pillars to to bend some and, and whatnot it's just it's those tiny bits of detail i mean this building by rights should not be stood up at at all but yeah. because it's in uh, hogsmeade and it's like held up by magic it, it's fine just kind of just go with it and suspend yeah. your disbelief because <laughs> magic is involved and you, you've, you've really like kind of nailed all that it's like it doesn't look real it doesn't look like it should be a real place but you you've pulled off the harry potter theme to an absolute t um i mean i know there's two t's in potter so you pull you pulled it off to <laughs> double t that was that was so bad. Oh my god, that was the worst yeah. joke. I actually want to edit that out. It was so bad. <laughs> I mean, you you decorated all upstairs as well. I mean, why? Why would you even go into this much detail? It's on oh my days. Yeah, I'm 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 just, I'm just speechless. Like like I say, you can. You know the the guests aren't going to interact with any of that, but it just it just completes it so nice. Rather than just putting a flat roof across it and being done with it, it just looks so much nicer. It's insane. I'm trying to think what building that would be. I I don't think that's actually one specifically, is it? Uh, from the films, it's not something I can think of from the books or films. Um, yeah. But it, I don't care. It was still amazing anyway. I'm just trying to see if I've missed anything here. Um, I'm just. So I've 
I do apologise if the camera's going a bit nuts. Um, so, just before we go over to Hogwarts. Right, I don't think I've missed anything, have I? Um, no, nothing. That's all that bit done. Yes, yeah, so that's... I would say that's the biggest part of the park done as well. And what we're on, 45 minutes. So we should be able to keep this under an hour. So, right, so... Um, <laughs> So we're going to come out of there. And are you ready, Tommy? We're going to Hogwarts. Oh, <laughs> I've been waiting for the day for my letter to come through the post. It never did. I just want to move out yeah, from I'd under the very, stairs. Yeah, I, I had a very disappointing 11th birthday when I didn't get that letter. <laughs> yes. uh, I, I, I would like to say the same, but um, I think when I was 11, Harry Potter wasn't <laughs> out. So I'm showing my age now. I, I I was just I, I was just around the same the same age as them. I, I'm I'm 28 now, so uh, I was just around the same age as them when it was all uh, being released. Well, I've got 10 years on you, I'm afraid. Then, <laughs> right, and we go over here. So uh, let's. Well, that that's a queue line. It is a queue. Oh, what's going on with the camera? There we go. Right. So we'll before we go for a ride of it, we'll just have a quick. Look at it from the top. So this is um, the stage that was set for the Goblet of Fire. Um, so one of the trials was that Harry Potter had to get the gold egg from the dragon in the middle. And he then obviously got his, called his broomstick with the Accio broomstick. There you go. I'm remembering. <laughs> and he was flying around all the dragon to try and get the gold egg. So... There we go, really nicely done. So let's go for a ride of this, and I'm gonna have a quick drink because we've been talking. Oh no! Oh dear! Oh, it's broken down. Oh no! Hang on, is there, is there somebody on the way? Otto Chen, come on, Otto. Yeah. Otto. Oh, look how far look he's going. Come on, right? <laughs> come on, Otto. Right. I'm gonna give you a helping hand, buddy. There you go. <laughs> There you go. That was magic. Accio Otto. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Come, come on. Oh, yep. We're on a time limit with this video. I think what I might even I, have I did, to do... I did wonder why there's nobody queuing for it. <laughs> yeah, that would explain it. I, I mean, I even wonder if I, we might have to actually just split this up a little bit and we, I need to do a little bit after the hour mark because I don't want to rush over and uh, discredit this park at all. I, I don't think that's right because it's put so much effort into it. I don't think it's fair to kind of like, yeah. right, we're running out of time. Let's whiz over it as quick as humanly possible. Yeah. Come on, Otto, hurry up. Time's a wasting. Let's speed him up. <laughs> there we go. Right, everyone get off. Get off. Get off. There we go. What we're going to do is we're going to close the ride and then put it into test mode. There we go. 200 IQ play right there. Right, let's go. Enjoy the point of view. Short and sweet. It was. I, I can't believe how, I, like, how many inversions is packed into that small arena there. That's, uh, that is pretty... Uh, it really pretty did impressive. feel like you were on a broomstick. Um, for, for obviously yeah, what yeah. the ride is supposed to represent as well, like kind of Harry whizzing around the dragon while trying to avoid the fire and trying to grab the egg. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Just had oh, a he, swig of drink. He's even got the golden egg in there, hasn't he? He has, yeah. There's a golden, there's a golden egg just down there. Yeah. The tracks nowhere near he's, he's, he's never going to catch not, it. Yeah, he's not, he's not put the dragon... There, there is a dragon uh, animatronic, isn't there? But it, the, the dragon animatronic is a bit too friendly, I think. So uh, uh, yeah. I don't think it'd fit very well. No, I don't, um, the Hunga <laughs> it's not a Hungarian horn tail. Oh, God, no. <laughs> there you go. I'm proper geeking out now. <laughs> proper yeah. geeking out. I am going to offer some feedback. Because I want to find something 
to criticize so i love the fact how you've got all these people around here i think that's absolutely amazing but they're all in white i would have maybe just changed the color change them to the actual um colors of the house and the same in the quidditch pitch as well they're all white so if you were to change like kind of some of them to red and yellow and then some to green uh for slytherin um just some to blue for ravenclaw what was hufflepuff's colors uh, is, it, is it yellow? Might be yellow. No, it was yellow, wasn't it? I think it was yellow, yeah. But maybe if, like, if you to just change some of the colours of them, that is literally the only feedback I can offer. And that's because I want to find something to critique. <laughs> you, you know, you know, you know, on the stand to the left, there's a zombie at the front trying to get onto the. <laughs> I, I, I did see <laughs> that. <laughs> I mean, he's he's desperate for me. He no, he's cheering. Yeah. That's what he's doing. He's cheering on Harry. Yeah. <laughs> look at that and do you know what Tommy I've still got to find a thumbnail at some point for this video as well and there's just so many places that I could do um, Yeah. do you know what we haven't even done yet we haven't even looked at night we haven't looked at anywhere at night yet No. we're going to have to this no, video is definitely going to be no, longer I... than an hour I think the yeah. longest I'm allowed to do is 80 minute upload I'm not going to do 80 minutes because that's too long but um it's certainly going to be over an hour. Right, so let's come out of here. Da, 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 da. And let's get the, that camera going again. So let's come back down here. So is there no other way up to Hogwarts from there? No, there's not, is there? So I've got to go yeah, back and yeah, over the bridge. Uh, just before we go to Hogwarts, so we've got the uh, tower here. So that's the Owlry, if I'm right in yes. saying. So a yeah. nice little touch there. Really nice. I like, again, really good rock work down at the bottom. Do you know, for a second, yeah. I thought there was somebody in there then. I wondered if that was <laughs> going to be like kind of a reference to um, the uh, Azkaban prison or something. I wonder if that was a little Easter egg. Yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't. <laughs> right. Da, 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 da. Uh, right, we've seen all this, so we can just kind of whiz through that nice and quickly. Let's go over the bridge. And then over the bridge we go. Right, now we're going to Hogwarts. So we've got the crashed car there into the Whomping Willow. Very nice touch. I like that a lot. And um, there is a ride underneath. But should we just have a quick look at the castle first? Yeah, yeah. Yep. So up the stairs we go. Up, 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 up the stairs we go. And then you've got the courtyard which is a really nice touch one thing i did notice uh, when we went through and i thought this was really funny it actually made me laugh and it made my wife laugh as well so you come through in here amazing interior <laughs> <laughs> brilliant comedy I, I love that i think that's fantastic because people are going to come in here expecting to see a great hall and and no there's no great hall but uh, brilliant I'm, sense I'm, of humour. I might humor. use that I'm in my own part. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Um, really nice little touch. Um, most of the castle is a facade. Facade. I can never say. Is that the way you say it? Facade. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah facade. facade. Yeah. I want to be careful to try and say it the other way. That sounds wrong. Um, yeah. Most <laughs> of the castle is a facade. Um, but it's still amazing. What? Oh, it's a viewpoint. Oh, wow. I, do you know what? I never even noticed that. So he's got a viewpoint there. So well, people would stand. Oh, wow. Yeah. People would stand and look over there. Yeah. No, that's impressive. Blinking heck. I mean, I'm not sure why there would be people walking around here, if honest, because I'm pretty sure there's nothing up here. I don't think. Unless the... I know there's a ride, um, but I thought that was underneath the castle. Unless the only way to get to it is through here, possibly. I don't know. So we've got um, the greenhouses here. Um, it's a really nice little touch. And then, so the guests won't go through there then. So, and just the attention to detail is just amazing. I can't quite. You, you must have had so many photos of like different angles of the castle. Yeah. To, 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 to get this spot on yeah and it and it pretty much is spot on as well isn't it 
Um, you can't get yeah, much yeah, closer yeah. than this. I've, I've seen that there is a Hogwarts on the um, workshop. Um, that's not to discredit the person who created that because that one is fantastic, but I would say this one is even better. Um, yeah. yeah. I would say this one is, is the one to go to. Um, and if you have a look at the piece count, so I've tried to have a look at this. So there's 82 pieces just in that piece. Um, another 104 there. 30, so like each going round here is 33 going around there. I mean, if you were to... Hang on. Let's just take the camera off. Let's try and not get everything else. How many pieces? I don't want the ride on really, but never mind. 8,000. No, 10,000. 10,000 <laughs> 10, pieces. And that's obviously not including like kind of this, but the bridge going over to it or anything. And that's just the castle alone, ten thousand yeah. pieces. So, yeah, top work. This must have taken you forever and a day. Do you um, reckon? Do you reckon he built the castle first and then morphed the terrain around it, or do you reckon he built the terrain and then built the castle off it? I, I'm trying to work out which way he would have done it. I would say I, I don't. I honestly don't know. Is the honest answer to that? I, I, I can't say. I, I, I want to say both. Um, yeah. Surely the castle and the terrain. Surely, what's this down here? Yeah. We got a fireworks. Fire, fireworks. Oh, show. I didn't yeah. even know there was a fireworks show. We'll have to have a look at that. Right. Um, I've got four minutes left of this video, so what I'm going to do is we're just going to take a quick stop here. Um, and then we will continue in a minute. So for anyone who is watching, um, thank you ever so much still for watching for how long we are going for. Um, I do promise it won't go on for much longer, but um, I hope you do appreciate the fact that a park of this magnitude, it's a, it would do it a disservice to rush over it and not do it justice because it's so good. So we've still got the castle to finish looking at and then the Quidditch pitch and two more rides. So two seconds and I'll be back. Hello, Matty back again. So um, I did actually have a quick look and because I am PS5 and because I do all of my editing through the PlayStation as I don't actually own a PC or a laptop or anything, I'm actually unable to render a video for longer than 60 minutes. So what me and Tommy have decided to do is we are actually going to split the video into two. So the videos will come out simultaneously. So if you are watching this video, um, the second part will also be out at the same time as well. So you won't need to wait. But um, we were discussing, we think there's probably another 15, 20 minutes or so of the video. And that means as well, we'll be able to have a look at the nighttime lighting as well. Um, because we are both in agreement that everything that we've recorded thus far, we can't really edit anything out. Um, this park is too good and we don't want to miss anything of this park at all. So we just need to finish off this castle, do the Quidditch pitch, do the two rides and then go round at night. So hopefully I will see you in part two in a moment. Don't forget to hit, hit that like and subscribe button uh, and say, Tommy, see you in a minute. Yep, see you later. Thank <laughs> you.